Well, hi. Uh, just doing a little ranting here this evening. Uh, I live in a place called uh, Arnold and uh, New Kensington. There's two cities that are kind of like New Kensington surrounds Arnold. And our local school district is called the New Ken Arnold School District, and our high school is Valley High School. I graduated there all the way back in, well, you don't need to know. But anyway, out in front of Valley High School is a granite slab upon which are written the Ten Commandments. It's been there for years, years and years. I think the Rotary Club put it there way back when. And don't you know, these uh, concerned citizens from Wisconsin who are really concerned about people getting, uh, getting a taste of religion, they've come here, and I, I, there was an article in our local newspaper that they're going to follow a lawsuit to have those removed because it's an egregious, it's an egregious uh, violation of the separation of church and state. Yada, yada, yada. And... Uh, People are in, they're in an uproar about it. They're, and the thing is, uh, I'm, I'm, it's just, I'm surprised that it's lasted there as long as it has. They'll probably be uh, victorious in getting them taken down because our nation really no longer cares about what God thinks. Uh, and it hasn't for a long time. And recently it's been really bad. We have a, a Marxist regime in office that is Antichrist. And I'm not saying that Barack Obama is the Antichrist, but it's an Antichrist uh, administration. And largely our culture has turned against God. So it will come down. I'm sure it will. And a lot of people will be wringing their hands over it because they're taking the Ten Commandments down. But my, my, my thought is, you know, I wonder how many people who are upset about the Ten Commandments coming down really care what they say. How many people really care what God says in His Ten Commandments? They'll, you know, a lot of people will be up in arms about, oh, they're taking God out of this, out of that. Well, there's a lot of people that kicked God out of their house a long time ago. They use them when they need them, they call on them whenever they get in trouble. Whenever they want to kind of feel warm and fuzzy or pious, they'll put the God suit on. But by and large, our culture, our American culture, has pretty much rejected anything that even looks uh, holy. We've created our own uh, standards. We've pretty much made God in our image. Just like they did back in Exodus when they made the golden calf. Uh, Moses was up on the mountain for 40 days, and people were down below, and they said, He ain't coming back. So they made themselves a golden calf, and they named it Yahweh. They named it the Lord. They gave it the right name. And I bet you they really felt like they were doing something really, really right. But of course, we know what happened. Uh, so, you know, in our community here in the Arnold, New Kensington area, which is a suburb of Pittsburgh, uh, they're going to come down. They'll come down. Just like we've thrown God out of every other aspect of society. Of course, when... The shootings happen, and when things happen, everybody says, oh, where's God? Well, he's not allowed in school anymore. He's not allowed in there. They want to try to teach them self-esteem, but they don't want to they want kids to like themselves, but they don't, they don't tell them why. They teach them self-esteem, but they don't teach them self-control. They can't teach them that there's a God in heaven who sent his son to die for them. That's illegal. Can't teach that. Anyhow, so I'm getting ready to go to bed. Yeah. My wife is away for a couple of days, so I'm batching it. So i got time on my hands to be able to talk to myself and put it on YouTube. So God bless you. If you're a Christian, don't let these things concern you. I mean, you know, try to stand up for what you believe in. That's all right. But they're, they're coming down. But here's the thing. Don't, don't, don't be concerned. Don't, don't rub your hands together. Don't get all upset. It's just what's happening in the world. What God said would happen. The world hates Christ. Jesus said that would happen. So, we need to be about our Father's business, telling people about Jesus Christ, living lives that's glorifying to Him. If you're not saved, you need to be saved. Because if not, when Jesus does come back, 
If you die without knowing him as your Lord and Savior, you're going to look at an eternity of hell. And hell is not going to be a fun place. It's not a party. It's going to be blackness and darkness and aloneness forever. A burning lake of fire. That's what the Bible says. That's the way he describes it. Take it or leave it. Am I trying to scare you? I don't want to scare you, anybody. You know, if I can scare the hell out of you, that's all right with me. But uh, put your faith and trust in Jesus. And pray for our nation. Pray for our president. Pray for him to get saved. But wouldn't that be something? <laughs> uh, well, I won't go there. God bless you. Have a wonderful night.